All right, no intro, because this is serious business. What I mean by serious business is I make a video talking about the least used piece of gym equipment in my gym. I bring up the reverse hyper, and then you guys have all this crap to say. So I got beef with all of you, and we're gonna cut some beef, not the cheese. All right, why do we use the reverse hyper? Okay, there's a couple of reasons. First one is we're trying to work the posterior chain, okay? So all the muscles on the back side of the body is why people use this. The other thing is they say that it will reduce uh, spinal compression, okay? So by doing this, we're taking load off of our spine, which we get a lot of that through weight training, barbell training, when we have anything on our back, right, or our shoulders. So this is allowing us to still get work in on the posterior chain without putting a lot of spinal compression. The other thing is people say, you just can't mimic this thing, okay? There's nothing else on the market like the reverse hyper, all right? So that's why people use this. So, in my gym owner opinion, I don't think people use this because they don't know how to use it. So I think it's just one lack of education on the piece of equipment. Two, it's loud and annoying. Uh, three, they haven't joined the West Side Cult. So if they're not in the West Side Cult, they think deadlifts, RDLs, hamstring curls uh, will do just fine. <laughs> All right, last reason is some people with what their training goals are, they may not ever need to use this. So a lot of bodybuilders typically aren't really gonna use a reverse hyper. And some of the people that we have at the gym, their goals uh, just kind of aren't something where the reverse hyper is gonna be needed. So what's the tail of the take on my opinion? So as a gym owner, the reverse hyper is super expensive. See price here. And I could use that money for other things. I think it would serve as a better benefit as a whole to my gym. So it's not one of those things that was on the first to buy list for me. However, when you have the extra money, it's a nice thing to have and use as a marketing tool to get people in your gym. If you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. So, you want some spinal decompression? You can set up some bands. Bands are way cheaper than a reverse hyper. You want to work posterior chain? You got things like deadlifts, uh, lying hamstring curls, RDLs, all sorts of different things that you can use to strengthen the posterior chain and finding ways to also decompress your spine per se. So for me, like I said, uh, I don't use it a ton. Um, it's just something that I can find other things to replace what the reverse hyper does, and that's just the way I've trained for a long time. I'm also not a part of the West Side Colt, unfortunately, so it's not in my DNA and in my blood. Uh, and I just bought it for the members to have here as a luxury piece of equipment. And if I do get members from the West Side Colt who join, their Colt will be fulfilled and the prophecy will live on through the lion's den. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. I uh, covered a lot of the points on why I don't think people use it, you know, my opinion on it, uh, just kind of some other facts for you. So kind of just to recap really quick, if you have the extra money and it's just something you want to buy, go for it. I don't think uh, there's really anything wrong with that. Um, but if you don't have the money, I would say don't put this as a high priority on your list. There's tons of other things you can do, especially as a gym owner, look at who your audience is, who you're catering to, Hopefully nobody died on the other side. We have to go and make sure that they're okay. So I'm gonna close the video out pretty quick. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, head over to Facebook page, Iron Lions. Okay. It's free, so join that. Uh, go to zashrank.net, articles, programs. Check them out as well. Uh, I think the person actually is dead, so I have to get out of here. And uh, yeah, see ya. Stay, stay a lean me strike machine or whatever I said.